Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it is almost 12 o'clock and welcome to today's vlog. First of all, I just wanted to start the vlog off saying Frederick is asleep. It's a good thing Frederick being asleep because it's been a pain in our butts this morning. Like huge pain in our butts. But um, we went shopping this morning because we had to get some groceries. As I mean we, I mean me. Frederick and Jason. Jason came home yesterday. Hello everybody. So right now I'm just trying to clean behind this stupid camera lens. Can you see that little hair? Oh, I'll see if I can get it. Wait, hold it there. You can just see there is a dog hair in our camera lens. I don't know what Amy does to these but I think she's got to start paying for items so she can learn to appreciate them. Because while I'm paying for them, she's like, ah, oh, that one's broken. Next one. <laughs> Quite like that. But um, Jason's trying to do a DIY home job of trying to um, fix the lens and get the dog hair out. But um, so far, so far it's kind of nerve wracking because... You could break the camera. But I wanted to share with you guys what we got from the shops today. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with Cotton On. Because we went to Cotton On and I actually bought some stuff for Marcel. A little boob tube. I normally would never get these things. Boob tube. Because, so, <laughs> is it called a boob tube? Yeah, it sounds funny. Um, because I have like this little like fat thing. Oh, underneath my armpits I've got like a, a fourth boob like I've got like two little tiny little boobs here <laughs> and these don't normally look that very great on me because of my tiny little armpit boobs but I decided I would grab myself a striped one and I also got a white one and I went ahead and bought myself some new pants I know I probably shouldn't get pants because we're coming into summer but these are like a li really lightweight pants and I thought they would look really cute when we go camping in a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, that's kind of why I got them. Went to Kmart and we got a Christmas present. Did we just get one? I think we did. We got a Christmas present for Frederick. I also got myself a trucker hat because I needed to get myself one for camping. Do I look okay with the trucker hat on? I don't know if I do. Jason just got some shawl. He also just grabbed this top for around the backyard. We grabbed this one, which will probably be ending up being a gym top. Most of Jason's clothes end up being garden or gym tops because that's literally all he does. Also, Australia did the best thing today and voted yes for marriage equality. We are really happy about it. We just actually hopefully hope that the plebiscite goes through and we do get marriage equality here in Australia because it definitely needs to be here. Don't ask me why it's not already here, it's ridiculous. But we're really happy that 61% of Australia said yes. We hoped there was going to be more than 61% but we still got it. So we're really happy. So me and Jason were just talking and Jason just popped off the top of the cap. Look easily as pie and now we're looking at the lens at the moment oh <gasps> did you do it oh i need a little tiny screwdriver oh. <laughs> i'm so nervous Look what amy does and she wants a drone she's not getting a drone now <laughs> this is what we're looking at guys oh so the dog hair's in that bit yeah so i'm talking about that Wow, but look how dirty it is, guys. Okay. And there is the hair that you guys can't even see. Almost cost us $200. There you go, you can see him, he's right there. Oh my god, we're gonna get the hair off that's been in there for like six months. That. <laughs> it's all clean. <laughs> and Jason did it. Now he can add this to his resume camera fixer. On top of radar technician, mine star. Technician, byline, technician, golf system engineering, communications technician, electronics technician, <laughs> electronics engineer, mad dog technician, dealing with Amy technician, dealing with Freddie technician, Mr. Technician. Jason fixed the camera and we just saved our, our piggy banks. 
$200 or more getting that fixed and it literally probably took Jason about 15 minutes. How happy are you for finishing that? I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of yourself. Freddie's like, pretty proud of me too. You actually, I wasn't expecting you to fix it. Really? But I'm so glad you did now. <laughs> also while we're here, do you want to tell everybody the news? The bad news? Yes. Well, it's pretty bad news in one way and not in another. There's a few pros and a few cons, but the first thing, the bad news is my roster changes back from eight days on, six days off, to two weeks on, one week off. So the negative is I'm away for two weeks again from now on. The positives are I'm home for Christmas all the days that I needed off for leave don't clash with my roster changing back to two weeks on one week off. So it means I'll get on my leave or days I didn't take leave but planned them in my breaks. And a lot more money. So we, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but we're at the beach. We're at the beach. We're at the beach. And Amy's got a new hat on. I do. I and have Amy's. my hat on that um, I bought today from Kmart. Am I rocking it? Yes. Yes or no? Let me know. It doesn't matter, it's just a hat for the beach. <laughs> Pretty much. But I was trying to say before that Freddie was um, screaming because he didn't want to get dressed, but I was trying to say that while Amy and Freddie play around and dig holes with a bucket, I'm going to run 10 minutes up the beach and then 10 minutes back and then I'm going to go for a swim. With us. With them. Yeah. Sounds a like a play. plan, Stan. Is there another hair on my lens? No. I'll have to pull you apart. <laughs> Don't make me pull you. No. Nah. <laughs> there was, but it's on the outside. Yep, so I'm gonna go for a run and then um and then go for a swim. It sounds like a good idea. To back from the beach and Amy and Freddie are now showered. Now it's my turn to have a shower. So I went for my little run and Amy and Freddie played. Now Freddie's watching Paw Patrol because it's the only way we can keep him quiet. And he's eating an apple as well. Third apple for the day. Oh, I look naked. <laughs> I am wearing a top. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just keeps on eating apples today. I don't know what's going on with our kid. He just Constantly he's eating apples. He keeps asking for him. I'll keep giving them to him. But I think we should uh, maybe try him on some other fruit so he can have different fruit throughout the day. Maybe like mangoes or something. It is a little bit late now, guys. It is 20 to 6 and I was talking and talking and talking and talking to you guys. And then I realized that Frederick is butt naked in the background. And I'm like, oh, I can't use any of this because Frederick is naked and we can't show his little tushy in our vlogs. I am making dinner tonight. We are having a satay curry for tonight for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. It's like mine and Jason's favorite dish at the moment to make. One, because it's super easy to make and two, because it's delicious and we can make a lot of it and have heaps of leftovers, which makes me and Jason super happy because it means we can make one lazy night or we can have a really super easy lunch because we can just grab leftovers out of the fridge. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do this cooking while the boys enjoy some father and son time. And then yeah, we get to enjoy tea all together as a family again after having a week break. So dinner is done. We're just waiting for Fredericks to cool down and then we get to eat. Are you excited for dinner? Yeah. Yeah. I cooked it. You did not cook it. I cooked it. You were such a liar. You did not cook it. You probably cooked like 20% of it. I put all, all you did was chopped up the vegetables. I put it all in there. Stirred it. I cooked the rice. I showed a, you know, how Amy cooks rice, guys. 
Do you know how Amy cooks rice? Oh, damn it. I didn't rinse the dishes after scrubbing them. <laughs> still got soap on them. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. What do I do? I don't know. What do we do? Someone told me that. I can't remember. Amy thought that what, the way you cook rice was, let's say you wanted to cook one cup of dry rice, she would pour the whole kettle, she informs me, which is 1.75 litres of water, which is a lot more than two and a half cups, pours 1.75 litres of water in there, puts her rice in there, keeps stirring it. When she thinks it's about done, she will just taste it, yeah, that's done. And then obviously, because there was 1.75 litres of water in there, there's a ton of water left, so then she will just strain it. Not in a strainer though, guys. In a microwave steaming apparatus where the rice just goes straight through. You're behind the camera laughing because it's so true. But I taught her the right way. Yeah, he taught me the right way today. So now, lesson learned. I know how to cook rice properly. That time of the night where we have to say goodbye to you all. But it's okay because we'll be back tomorrow. But we hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. Vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And maybe click that subscribe button if you want to see more from us. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you guys.